A family in Florida's Panhandle is coming to Tampa over the holidays, but sadly not to celebrate Christmas. The dad's going to be here to undergo some aggressive cancer treatment at Moffitt Cancer Center. Well, when the Airbnb host found out, he came up with a creative way to brighten the holidays. It on your side's Gail Guayardo has that story. Yeah, it's really crazy. I guess you could say it's gone viral. It all started with a simple post on the popular Nextdoor app about a family moving into this home, and it ends with a Christmas miracle. Because the tree's kind of bare, so people dropped off garland and ornaments and bows, and they actually dropped off stockings for the kids and actually for the whole families. Mike Gorecki can't believe it. A simple post on the next door app would turn into a flood of holiday goodness. I put up the Christmas tree and I'm like, you know what? I don't have any ornaments. So I used our next door app for our neighborhood here, and I just put a simple post out there like, uh, instead of me going to the store and buying ornaments, how about everybody um, drop off just like little words of encouragement or little notes and stuff, and I'll use those as the ornaments for the tree. People did drop off notes of encouragement. Somebody wanted to donate, um, it's almost like a little message in the bottle that he can kind of read, you know, before and after his, his procedure and stuff, so, and then some ornaments as well that they donated. But the holiday love just kept pouring in. And not only are there just notes and um, ornaments people have dropped off, uh, now they're beginning to drop off food and, and offering to cook the meals for Christmas Eve and Christmas dinner. So it's just been unbelievable how a community has just embraced uh, a just complete stranger that's just coming to stay uh, for a couple weeks. And this house has a history of hope. A patient needing a kidney transplant stayed here and united with his donor under this roof. It was a very successful uh, transplant, and uh, so I told John, who's going to be coming here for his uh, cancer treatment, I said to him that this house is good luck, so I think he was excited to hear that. Now Mike is putting the final touches on the tree, ready to welcome the family with holiday cheer. And Mike mentioned the food starting to come in. I thought this was a crazy story. This morning, I woke up early to a text from my mother-in-law, and she said, hey, I saw the post on the next door app and I'm going to be dropping off food this morning and she did. So everybody is chipping in as this post continues to go viral. On Davis Islands, I'm Gil Guayardo, 8 on your side.